Okay, guys, welcome back to the Financial Spotlight. We are on part six of our seven part series of budgeting with children. And today I want to talk to you about a few different things that you can do to actually maximize the money that you already have. So I'm not talking about increasing your income or getting a job or or selling anything or anything like that. I'm talking about basically taking what you already have and what's already going on with your finances and maximizing it. Now, how would you do that? There's five different ways that I suggest that you do it. And I have a, a, a money management bundle that talks about the five ways of finding money that you didn't know that you might have had. So if you want to get that, go ahead and click the link down in the description box. But in the meantime, I'm going to give you basically what I talk about in that series. So first of all, we're going to talk about how to get deposits back. So basically, when you first set up your accounts such as your electricity account, your cell phone account, those type of accounts, a lot of times they ask you for a deposit, right? So when you ask you for those deposits, you might have been in your home for a year or a little bit more, then you can contact them and ask them for those deposits back. Did you know that? You can contact them and say, hey, so I know that when I first moved in, I put a $200 deposit, $100 deposit, however much you put down, and now I would like it back. And they're going to ask you, do you want it applied to your bill or do you want it back to in your account? And you can choose however you want to receive it. The second way that you're going to maximize your money is to reduce your monthly expenses. Now, I know that's not very easy, but a few ways to reduce your monthly expenses is by maybe eliminating some of your monthly subscriptions um, there you might get subscriptions to different streaming services and you don't necessarily need all of them or on the flip side you might have a cable bill that you pay every month and you don't really need to pay for cable maybe you only need internet from that source and then you pay for your streaming services you need to weigh out and see which one is cheaper because like for me, I have a cable company, right? The cable company also provides uh, internet. They have other things that they provide too, but I get internet and cable from them. That might be $200 a month as opposed to maybe I can just get internet from them for $35 a month. I'm just speaking hypothetically. Um, I can get internet service from them for $35 a month. And maybe I can get a couple of streaming services for $10 a month. Uh, for each of those streaming services that I might want, maybe three of them. So say you have three streaming services, they're costing you $10 a month, that's $30. And then you pay for your internet service, that's $35. So then that's a $65 a month charge, as opposed to your $200 a month charge that you're paying for your company, your cable company and the internet. So those are things that you need to look at to see, maybe I need to reduce this and change, make changes to my monthly expenses so that I can benefit from it. The third thing I want you to do is to review your accounts, your bank accounts, your checking accounts, your credit card accounts, all of these accounts and the fees that you're paying them. Now, for example, maybe you are with a bank and the bank is charging you a monthly fee of $5 for each account that you have. That might you might have a savings and a checking account. Each of those is $10 a month. Why am I paying this bank $10 a month to hold on to my money? Maybe you need to change your bank to another bank where you're not paying any fees. There's a lot of banks that do not charge fees. Maybe you need to think about as far as your credit card companies are concerned, maybe you need to change to a different credit card company, or maybe you need to talk to them and ask them to reduce your fees or something along those lines. That's going to help you maximize your income. The fourth thing, you might want to start signing up for ways to make money while you spend. And what I mean by that is there's a lot of companies out there that are willing to give you money back when you spend money. So, 
For example, if you have a gas card, you can get gas money back on your gas card. There's also something called Rakuten that will give you money back on money that you spend throughout the month. There's a few other companies that do that too. So start researching and seeing which companies are willing to give you money back. I even have a PayPal card and with my PayPal, I get, I think it's 1% back on all of the spending that I do every month. So look into if your current accounts or current credit cards will give you money back and also look into other programs that are willing to give you money back when you spend. And the fifth thing is, I said it, increasing your income. Now, there are ways that you can increase your income that don't necessarily mean you have to get another job or that you have to uh, sell things or anything like that. You can simply increase your income by talking to your employer and letting them know that you're interested in getting a raise. Contact them. Um, have a conversation about your current amount that you're getting. Also talk to them about the raise that has happened with the hourly raise. So see if, you know, the minimum wage has raised up about 50 cents. I think it's nationwide. And if that has happened, then you can talk to them and say, okay, so nationwide minimum uh, minimum, sorry, minimum wage has increased. I would like to also talk about my hourly wage increasing. Now, if you don't have, if you don't work for anyone and you have your own business, well, things are changing. So we're in a recession. Therefore, or they say we're, we might not be in one, but we might be going into one. So things have changed. So what I'm, I'm saying this to say, things have increased. Gas prices have increased. Food prices have increased. Therefore, if you have a business, you might need to increase your prices. And by increasing your prices, you're going to increase your income. So I hope that these things have helped you, these little five little tips. And if you want to go more in depth with them and know exactly the steps that I'm taking to tell you what you need to do exactly, then go ahead and download the Money Management Bundle. Get that. The link is in the description box and this information will help you to budget your money while you are a parent or you are in a relationship and you have money that you want to try to save for and different goals. These things will all help you. Go ahead and like this video if you like it. Also, make sure that you leave a comment down below letting me know which one of these five tips you're going to try to implement as you go forward in this new year. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.